The hanging fellas, I'm Orosh, and this is another episode of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, and in today's episode, we gotta catch up real quick to these two people and talk to them, what's the up? Jarl and I have our disagreements. Did I see Sorry you arguing with someone? Here. I'm looking for a drink or some work, that sounds better. So last episode, at the very end, uh, we run into these two people, and then I realized, after I was done recording, that, oh shit, they probably have a quest for me. Because they wouldn't throw a fucking... What's the expression? Oh, whatever, they were fucking arguing with the Jarl, because these guys like the Imperials, but uh, the Dawnstar is more of a Stormcloak affiliated town, so they're not very... What the fuck, is that a thief? Thief armor. I was looking Drowning for a drink. Troubles and mead? A lot of folks are doing that Excuse these me, days. why is there just you a the thief guild in. member walking around? Who work, the fuck is she? I've got a doctor. You could try to her. catch Scald in a good mood, but your best bet would be working in the mines. They're on opposite ends of town. Not that kind of work. Scald supports Ulfric's rebellion, and he doesn't like. Ah, yes, Scald. So I already asked him for work, uh, and I killed a giant He's for a him. He's a fool. A dragon has attacked Helgen. Dawnstar needs Who the Empire now. Who cares about Helgen? Dragons attack ever. everybody, everywhere, and people sim still bring up the Helgen incident. Well, actually, I guess Helgen was entirely fucking destroyed. Stay out of trouble My now. duty is to guard the This guy is such a simp that he doesn't even have any unique dialogue. Hi there. Excuse me, <laughs> Wilhelmia. Who the fuck are you? Uh, hi there. Follow me, I need your help. Until next time. What the? Who the fuck are you? Is she like a... She might be a 10th anniversary companion? What, is she just walking around Dawnstar? I'm like, noticed her and she... What the fuck, is she a vampire? Yo, did you see that shit? Huh? Got pretty eyes. Never, never looked at you this close. Wasn't trying to be a creep, you know? Alright, so in my opinion, what I should do, in my honest opinion, my honest, humble opinion, I have a plan. I want to go here first, and then over here, pray at the shrine, and then we're going to do like a little like a little circle over around this mountain, and go here. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe it's actually a better idea if I go here. Hmm... Yeah, you know what? A change of plans. I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna go for the sword first. So here's a cave. We can just kind of go this direction and get there pretty quickly. Sponders a horse as fast as lightning, so it won't be that big of a deal. I got a drink here. It's a uh, black blackberry flavored beer. Not gonna lie, one of my favorite beers I recently found. Sponder, where the fuck you put your armor, bro? Don't you know there's danger? Like everywhere I'm going the wrong way. Am I going the correct way now? Okay, so it's that way. This is the My one I think. Was a strong woman. Cool story, y'all, but uh, heard it a million times. You know what I thought would be pretty cool if like Elder Scrolls 6 came out and like you go to like a tavern or something and you run into like Lydia but she's like old and shit. And like you, you actually have like stories of like her adventuring with the Dragonborn and then you find out that Lydia was the one and only canon companion to the Dragonborn. <laughs> so whoever played Skyrim and never changed Lydia as a companion unless she died. That's the canon story. I don't know, they could also like flesh her out and actually make her into an interesting character. I'm supposed to get a sword out of here? Look at that sword. A bad time to get lost, friend. <laughs> Damn, he blocked me. What a fucking ping pong game. Are you shooting my horse? Recording on a Sunday. Once again, and I just realized, so okay, if I'm next week gonna record Dungan Ronpa episodes, then that means next fucking uh, weekend I'm also gonna be recording a bunch of Skyrim episodes, and today I meant to record five episodes, and that's probably gonna be the last bunch of, batch of episodes with Mjol, there she is, speak of the devil, because then I will probably change my companion, and good thing I run into that fucking vampire lady. Wilhelm, yeah. I don't think Wilhelm has a fucking female equivalent of that name. Wilhelm, yeah? 
accent's kind of fucking dumb. My second name is Wilhelm. Well, it's not exactly... I, I can't fucking remember what it's called, but it's like a... Like my fucking chosen name from like some kind of a fucking... I don't know what the fuck it's called. Tomatoes, my favorite berries. That's right, children. Tomatoes are berries. Now you're probably shocked. Ah, there we go. That's the stuff. It's a pretty good weapon. You know what, sometimes Skyrim does that thing where like it tells me my weapon... Like I'm fucking holding this axe and the axe has how much damage? Let me see it. 79 damage. And then I scroll over to Woodrad and it has more damage. But it only has like 20 more damage, so why the fuck is the game showing me at the bottom of the screen that Woodrad does fucking 71 more damage? I don't understand that. And then it's like Wabajack, which does less fucking damage, but then it fucking shows us up as if it deals more damage. Like, what the fuck? I have to like memorize the fucking damage outputs of each weapon and then fucking compare it myself. And Skyrim, unfortunately, doesn't feature a cool thing like Borderlands does, where you can compare uh, equipment, which would be pretty cool. Another thing I would like... Oh, it's a way back, okay. Another thing I would like Skyrim to have, if it fucking, I don't know, got a fucking 20th anniversary release. Would you think it would? I, f I think Skyrim would fucking probably get a 20th anniversary remake or some shit on a new fucking creation engine updated version of 2.5 or some bullshit. 16 times the detail. Now, now you can look dragons up the ass. Many have fallen in this clip. The Dragra show no mercy. New additional dialogue for me, the lioness. That she will repeatedly fucking tell you. What's up? Gonna sneeze. <coughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? I was, uh had a little bit of a, how to put it, a campfire with my friends yesterday. We like went to my friend's place and we made a little campfire and we roasted skinny sausages, which I don't know if you ever had a roasted skinny sausage, but they're really fucking good. We discovered them like last year. We were like buying sausages to roast on a, on a campfire. And then we were like, let's try these skinny sausages. And then Lord behold, turns out they're fucking really good. Roasted skinny sausages. I don't know if you guys ever had skinny sausages to begin with. I fucking love skinny sausages. How was this? Looks like a uh, entrance. In a wall. In a game. And... And yeah, we were just kind of chilling, eating and stuff and... We were discussing various things about life, love, death, happiness. We are discussing what is happiness to each of us and my two friends, my only two friends, settled on happiness being like these moments of joy that kind of take us away from everyday burdens, make us forget about them, you know? I said that happiness to me is... Uh, Fulfilling myself in my, like, passions. And I don't know, the fact that I had, like, a different definition of happiness in my head to them makes me wonder, like, is my definition of happiness wrong? Or does everybody is allowed to have their own and mine isn't wrong, theirs isn't wrong, they're both correct. Okay, so it seems like I really do have to do some bullshit around there, around uh, with these things. Yeah, we're also discussing other shit, but, uh... I forgot. We're talking about fucking... No, oh, watch the fuck out. Are you fucking... Whoa. Sneaky son of a bitch. Oh, he's not like a unique fucking drog, drog. He's just like a really tough one. Hate when I accidentally cancelled my own, my own attack. It's annoying.
I didn't kill them in four seconds. That definitely took longer than four seconds. Orc Sharrows. They're not that great, but... Well, he's not using ancient Nordic arrows, which are garbage. So he was slightly tougher. And you saw what the fuck he did? He used the shout to activate a button. And he was almost about to fuck me up with these traps. Well, what the fuck? Chill out. <laughs> Got greedy, did I? Fucking assholes. There was another Draugr. Where is it? This one? Oh, I checked it out. Remember when I wielded this axe as my weapon? I didn't even name it. I didn't... I don't think I... No, it had like an enchantment of frost on it. So at least it had something going on. Okay, what the fuck am I doing? I should have covered up the window again. Fuck. Someone's gonna fucking knock the ball out of my hand and I'm gonna fucking complain about the fact that I can't fucking find my bow. Hold on, I'm gonna do it now. Yeah, I gotta record five episodes. Again. I think I'll get uh, get through that fucking beer in these four, five episodes. Alright, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm much better without the fucking sunlight. Last three lifetimes, yet I never tire of a good fight. What do you make of that? I think you're a fucking psychopath. No, just kidding, I don't think that. Life of thrills and excitement. This is the type of life I would like to live. I'm not sure. Okay, that's where I came from. Well, obviously these fucking spinny pillars have something to do with this bullshit, but I don't really fucking see... Unless I missed it, like anything cluing me in on what the fuck the setup for these things are. Because, you know, usually when you have these spinny fucking symbols puzzles, there's usually the symbols, like, nearby for you to copy. But I don't fucking see them. Unless they were in, like, a different room. Alright, let me look around. I haven't attempted that yet. I haven't looked around. Hmm, there's a... Oh, there's a path up there. For us to probably take. How am I supposed to f get fucking killed by that? I would have had to, like, sprint through this fucking place. Okay, so there's no buttons or anything activating these. This, like, spear gate over here. I don't see anything at the very least. Alright, let's go back. And down. There is a permanently locked door over here. This door is buried from the other side. Mm-hmm. Awesome fire disappears when it's on the edge of the screen. See that? Pretty cool, pretty cool, not gonna lie. If fuck, I don't fucking see anything. Ouch, I got jam in my eyes. Wait, these don't fucking spin at all. These, like, have handles on them. What the fuck? Why is that the case? Would a, w would a wind shout actually get rid of the fire? And look, why was it... Oh, I guess the dolphin is a much nicer animal than the snake. Fucking snakey ass piece of shit. Never trust a snake. Oh, really? That's it? That's a dungeon? The sword I was looking for is right here. Please don't attack me from the back. That's insanely rude. Nobody taught you honor and like how to fight in a one-on-one -on -one combat situation. <laughs> Epic. Man, you're all miserable. Any motherfuckers wanna wake up? Wake up, smell the ashes? No? Alright then, I'll just look through this chest, find the sword, 
hopefully, was an expert. Alright, now here's the deal. Are we looking for the key? Perhaps these guys have the key. I don't think I searched them, did I? No, I did. Okay. Yo, pick a lock for me. Or are we actually doing an expert fucking lock picking check? It's not to the left, I think. Well, there we go. I have a ring which makes lock picking easier, but only by 12%. And what kind of uh, difficulty percentage do I have currently? I, not a very high one, I guess. Two swords of clan ice blade. Oh shit, that's pretty dope. Well, now it seems like I have to find the other sword. It just I just picked up something saying two swords. What the fuck's this glass staff of chastening? Whoa. That's kind of cool. An orcish scaled armor, which I already had. It's not a big deal. I wonder which where the key was. Extended invisibility won't really do me much. Oh, what's this? Orcish scaled boots. Very fashionable. Another expert lock. Another fucking set, same set of armor. Now look at that. It's pretty easy. An expert locks. I should I should pick every lock from this point on. Even though expert ones aren't very fucking difficult anymore. When you have a fucking gamer like me, who fucking best one ever, best out there. Well, obviously, I pick every lock, like I pick my nose very easily. But oh, there it is. And a corpse that I even made fun of for not waking up. Should have tried to wake him up. What kind of puzzle? No, I just activated a fucking. Throgger. Well, why are you running away? The white. Did you just say the whites hate you? Damn, y'all. And here I was thinking Udgird is racist. No way, you're the racist one. You're the one who keeps fucking screaming about true Nords of Skyrim and shit. Look, y'all, your ta time is past. Gone, alright. Gotta accept the... What, it doesn't fucking work? It worked kind of strangely, but it did. Oh, there is more stuff to spin. Wait, they each activate their own thing, so I don't have to close this. What is wrong with this thing? Why does it work correctly? And there's a spinny thing here, too. And cash, baby. Payday. A fucking... what's his name? Brynjolf told me I didn't earn any gold fairly in my life. Well, what do you say gold left behind in an ancient tomb is? I earned it fairly. Fucking picked it up. Open up, bitch. <laughs> Pizza's here. Pizza delivery. Well, there were two barred doors. In this dungeon. Oh yeah, how the fuck do I get up there? Oh yeah, wait, did that... Did something... wait... Was there a switch here? I didn't activate it, this. Oh, what did I said earlier? Oh, there's the switch. Yeah, but I already have the sword, so now we just have to get the fuck out of here. I don't have to kill all these droggers or anything. I'm just exploring. I'm just having fun. This game is fun. That's the nice thing about this game. I'm playing it for so long and I'm still not in the, like, a, at a point in this game. Well, for example, in Cyberpunk, by like episode 70 or something, I was probably fucking 
just hated my time with the game. I was like, why am I still fucking playing it? Why is it still going? Why can't it be over? There's nothing in there. But with this game, I'm like enjoying my time. Exploring dungeons. This game has like this pace, like it's not like in Cyberpunk when like shit's pretty fast paced and shit. Sometimes, like when you have a gunfight. Now gunfights are much more faster paced than like swinging my giant fucking battle axe around. And yeah. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Enjoying this game, like I said. Look a drug, bro, no! A blocking piece. See, I told you I should have invested a little bit of my points into blocking. I mean, I did, but like... I want to invest more, because there's skills which are specifically blocking with shields. But then there are skills that are just about blocking. And I recently tried to block a little bit more with my weapons. Instead of just like swinging them around. Are their hands coming out of the fucking ground? I don't know, nor do I care. Open gate? Oh, look at that. Who's this? I have a thought it would be cool if I killed him with like one hit. Kinda fucked it up. Yeah, so maybe. How long is this episode so far? 21 minutes. Longer than I expect. Oh, there you go. Don't freeze me, you piece of shit. Am I being set on fire? That was really close. Extreme stamina, fuck yeah. Healing? Not so mind if I do. Me all distract him. You're invincible, unlike me. Oh shit, another one? How do I get up there? Fuck, he killed me all. Quick. That's the exit. How do I get up there? Oh, there's the fucking stairs. Stop laughing, you piece of shit. Crap out of my girlfriend, laughed at her, what an asshole. See, it was worth going over here. Maybe these guys actually carried something valuable. You know what this game should have done? They should have like introduced an iron uh, set. That's like actually the best in the game. Because when you look at the cover of Skyrim and you see the fucking awesome iron armor being displayed. And it, you know, the fucking dragonborn and this epic fucking outfit and you think like fuck yeah I gotta have like this armor set when I play the game and then you do and it fucking sucks ass wait what? Haunt Ancient Lord Battle Axe same one just slightly better I guess what the fuck is fires coming out of? who cares? new shout I have no dragon souls though Web oh I learned this stupid fucking thing that I was so mad about. Remember when like I think it was last episode or two episodes ago, I got fucking someone sh somebody shouted disarm at me and I dropped my fucking bow and I spent like ten minutes looking for it. Ooh, this is dope. Very nice, what's this? And this should lead us to the door. That's the exit from this dungeon. What a nice episode. Wrapped up everything really quickly. Search two already? Okay then. There you go, there's the exit. And we're how many minutes in? 24. You know what that means? I can probably make my way to that shrine and pray at it, confess my sins. And the next episode we can go to that other cave. And there's still three more episodes to record, so... Alright, this way, and I gotta, like, make my way around the mountain that I'm 
going along right now. Yeah, so it was 10 episodes in this armor set, so see, you can kind of tell, like, my recording sessions. The episode in which I'll have a new armor set, that means it'll probably be, like, the next recording session and stuff. And by sessions, I mean, like, a couple of days that I sit down and play exclusively Skyrim. What's going on, Mr. Wizard? Got something Wherever cool to say? Hide, the Vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. Who are you? I fucking run into you guys a while back and I fucking killed one of you. I didn't mean to, I thought you were like a resurrected corpse by like a necromancer, so... I kinda freaked out and I... You know, I, I should've assessed my situation a little better, my bad. Last fucking shrine. I did it. I've completed praying at the shrines. And you might think, well, what the fuck? Who cares? Well, I do, because that means, thanks to that, I can actually put on the Crusader armor set. Which is a weird armor set that you can only put on if, you're, I, if your heart's cl fucking clear enough or some shit, I don't fucking know. There's some stuff over here behind me, but uh, if you zoom in on the map or look at it at the right angle, you can see that the cave I'm heading to has like a path over here. What you fighting? Oh, sh I'm not getting involved in politics, thank you. Okay, let's uh, go this way. How do I get up there? Oh, I know how I get up there. With Sponder, who's about to go up a fucking 90 degree slope. Like me skiing as a kid when I went down a 90 degree slope and I fucking crashed into a, into a guy's dick. That's a story. I've seen enough death I crashed into his into his ass, not his dick. Like he was standing there and I was fucking panicking and I was fucking going really fast and I didn't know how to fuck to break and I just rammed right into that fucking guy. He wasn't mad. I mean he probably fucking hurt pretty bad. Whoa shit! Sponder, my apologies, I didn't fucking knew. I thought you knew how to fly. There's the path. Hey, look, Ignitia. Ignitia, I missed you. The fuck, bitch? I don't set Sponder on fire, that's rude. You're not Ignitia. Kill her, Sponder. Pretender. What are you fucking doing in an icy area? You're a fucking flame astronaut, not a fucking ice one. I'm not even sure if ice ones exist. As you guys can see, Sponder is a horse made of steel. He cannot be killed. He is immortal. Sponder is actually part of a mod uh, called Immortal Horses of Skyrim. I'm not just kidding, I made that up. He's just a really tough horse, I guess. Actually, sometimes I'm curious if... Like, I equipped Sponder with an armor set. And I think that when he doesn't have the armor set, he actually has it. It just doesn't appear on him. I, I mean, I hope that's the case, because... It'd be better if it was the case than if he just doesn't have armor sets sometimes for no reason. 28 minutes, we're not the half an hour mark that I usually set for myself, so let's go a little bit in. I was about to finish the episode. I could fucking spend the last- what the fuck? Okay, this starts to uh, get interesting. This is a quest about me attending a banquet feast. Okay. I was not expecting this. I thought I was just going to go into a cave and there's just gonna be bandits. I wasn't expecting fucking Harry Potter shit type type shit. You know, I think I might finish this episode here because that's a pretty cool setup for the next like what is this mystery type of thing. Next episode. You can even hear music, that's so cozy. Kind of a cool place. Whatever. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.